it begins in your own community, in your schools, in your villages, with your friends. And if you believe something can be done, organize your friends, take action. This planet is ours. It is in your hands. It is in your hands. A better world. There is work to be done. Commit yourself to that work. The world needs a wake-up call. World, this is a wake-up call. So I am Adel, I am a civil society activist here in Nigeria, and I am leading the campaign to integrate young people in decision-making in politics. <laughs> Young people under 35 years are representing 70% of population while they represent nothing in decision making. So we encourage all young people to send thousands of emails and fax to the President of the Republic and just three days after the President responded. <laughs> It's the time to knock the door and to take what you want. I will not stop until my friends with disabilities can live equal, independent and free lives. We are now in presidential elections and the importance of youth participation in elections is a must. So I join uh, people from different parts of the Mexican Republic and ask them to make questions to the presidential candidate. Más que nada que que den el apoyo de para los chavos, para los jóvenes, más empleos, mejores pagados. Importante tener como un organismo de jóvenes. Nosotros lo que estamos tratando ahorita hacer es llevar este mensaje a los candidatos a la presidencia. After one positive response, all the candidates are following, so it seems that we are going to have an exciting time in meeting all the candidates. Claro que si yo me hago cargo de que me lleguen personalmente, las vea y tan por seguro que me van My name is Karuna Rana. I'm a young environmentalist from Mauritius. I'm devoted to engaging people in environmental issues on an international stage. The time for change is now, but also on a more local level in my own country. I want all of you to remember the three R's. Two bubbles found in the ocean. I'm fortunate enough to share ideas on international platforms, but the most important thing is, and this is all what One Young World is about, we don't just talk, we act. We work with kids with very difficult backgrounds. Their parents have been exposed to drugs, prostitutions, and many of these kids have been exposed to violence. The first 10 years of their lives have not been easy. We take them out of the city and up to the mountains and we create a camp for them called Bakongo. And they come here and, um, and here they start smiling. Ooh, la, la. Ooh, la, la.
It's a real escape from the difficulties back home, but it doesn't end here. After the camp, we keep supporting them, and every year, a new group of kids come and join our ever-growing Congo family. Que gracias por todo por enseñarme a ser valiente, a seguir adelante sin importar las dificultades que hayan, a sonreír siempre y nunca apagar esa alegría que tengo. They take home the values that we teach them, the, this experience. They, they want to share this with the, their friends. So at the end, even though we can't change their past, we can do something for their future and for our future. Because this is built and this is transform a new world. All around the world, young people are devoting their lives to changing our world for the better. They are lobbying governments for change, pressuring corporations to work responsibly, encouraging people to stand up for their rights, and lending a voice to those who cannot. We remain one young world.